Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. As always, it is Nick here, back with your daily crypto news and analysis. And today we're going to be talking about Casper Network, aka Casper the Friendly Ghost. So let's just dive in and let's take a step back to October 13th where Casper posted this video over on their Twitter page. And it is the developer uh, advocate at Casper Labs talking with the director of comms about Casper's most disruptive feature. And it is talking about enabling powerful new ways for music, arts, and intellectual property rights industry. So listen closely. Blockchain technology in general is extremely disruptive. What would you say is the most disruptive part of the Casper blockchain? The most disruptive is the, the feature that we have it allows uh, multi-signatures on chain. This is something I haven't seen implemented on a layer one yet. Mm -hmm. So we are able to um, have a collective uh, participation on the blockchain and it's secured by the layer one mm -hmm. protocol. Mm -hmm. So one use case that I'm really excited about is uh, property rights, uh, IP in the music industry and mm -hmm. in the arts, supporting the artists and being able f uh, to uh, give them the right portion, depending on their contracts. The collection of smart contracts on chain can ensure that they get their share. Uh, we have seen, and I have seen many stories where the main artist does not get almost anything mm -hmm. uh, of the revenue. Mm -hmm. So these smart contracts, once they are built, they will ensure the proper execution. And I've always said in terms of uh you know, creators within the music and the arts area. Um, the biggest problem right now that plagues the traditional systems is giving back power to these creators. Uh, a lot of them have issues generating revenue because specific platforms, and I will argue even most of the centralized platforms out there as well, that are still paying very good to most creators, or I should say at least a large majority of them, uh, the issue is that they're still taking a very large percentage uh, of the revenues that are coming in. Uh, Spotify is actually a very good platform to use as an example because most of the artists are getting extremely uh, screwed in terms of the percentage that they are being paid. And that's why I do believe that a lot of the the, the big markets that are being disrupted in terms of these music industries, these art, uh, like artistic industries as well, the good thing about blockchain moving into those industries is giving back power to those creators, allowing for a lot more opportunity as well. And I think that that's awesome that Casper is focused on that area. And uh, also, we do see over here from Martin um, Heisbowick uh, posting over on Twitter again about Casper Network strong and competent engineering efforts inside Casper are most valuable as the blockchain space continues to evolve. Again, listen in closely to this. It's about two minutes long, and then we are done with videos, and I, I, I'm going to strictly talk to you guys a little bit about things happening around uh, crypto. Hello, my name is Mark Greenslade. I'm head of research and development at the Casper Network, and I'm here today to speak to Joe about possible futures of the Casper Network. Mark, thanks for joining us today uh, to talk about Casper and uh, where we're headed. As head of research and development, what excites you the most about where Casper is headed? First and foremost, this is a fledgling network, so it's still quite new but it's being engineered by a very solid and competent engineering team and led very ably by a director of engineering who's got deep experience and has shown a lot of leadership under pressure. What this gives me as somebody who's working at the kind of bleeding edge of research and development is confidence that this is a team that can actually deliver solutions to difficult problems because it's a highly competitive landscape. The blockchain space is evolving all the time and the Casper network has to both catch up and stay ahead of the game. It needs strong engineering leadership to make that happen. And that's one of my biggest confidence I have in this project. This leadership is in place so that as we bring to the team new problems, maybe more difficult problems that have already been solved, that there's going to be a robust engineering efforts to make those new concepts uh, a reality. And that's absolutely essential for this network uh, if it's going to, to evolve. 
in a, a fashion that it can reach its potential. And I really do want to say the the main thing that I always really kind of put into perspective around Casper is just how far ahead of the game they are. Because I think that they took into accountability everything that every other major layer one blockchain in the space is lacking. Um, and I think that they really wanted to be completely diverse in their own approach to disrupting not only, you know, every single major industry out there around the art area, the music industry, the enterprise grade area, like every single portion of, you know, the discussions around Casper that I've had on this channel is just trying to put a spotlight on what makes Casper so diverse um, in going after the same industries that we do see on most layer ones. Uh, the big difference is the technology behind Casper, uh, the efforts behind the scenes around engineering, developing, and really kind of just building Casper into the network of choice for a lot of major industries as well as entities around the enterprise grade sector, the retail sector, etc. And uh, talking about that um, specifically around the enterprise grade area, we do see over here, I realized that neither on the structure side nor the product side was a blockchain company or protocol that was really taking care of the needs of enterprise. That's what led me to found Casper Labs. And again, when we really kind of look at what happens around Casper, it's really just centered on the enterprise grade sector because it is a huge area to focus on. And it is an area that is ripe for disruption because a lot of the, you know, the major companies, the networks, the projects that are being built around the enterprise grade area lack a lot of the offerings that these enterprises do need. And uh, this is why I look at a lot of the things that are centered on uh, from Casper's side, engineering-wise, but also even developer-wise. And we do see Casper has real scalability. Casper is easy to use. It's perfect for enterprises, has low and predictable costs, and is future-proof. And shout out to, of course, the Chain Media for this. And then we do see down here being posted, we do see a comparison of Casper to Hedera, Algorand, Ethereum, Tezos, Cosmos, and Polkadot. Uh, you can definitely see everything happening around Casper in terms of developer-wise, uh, decentralization-wise, smart contracts, all that kind of stuff. I will say this. We've, we've always put a focus point on upgradable smart contracts just because like, that is a huge focus. Uh, it allows them to fully be, you know, future proof. I, I, I do believe that Casper is one of those projects that will be around for the next 5, 10, 15, even 20 plus years. And that's why I have been, you know, not only betting huge on Casper, uh, but I also believe that long term Casper is really going to shine the greatest among a lot of the major layer ones out there. Now, is it better than Hedera? Is it better than this token? I don't really care about that. I don't really care about putting into comparison, okay, well, how good is Casper compared to Hedera or this, that, whatever? Um, to me, I always gauge this, okay? I always diverse myself in these layer ones that I find technology advancements compared to most. Um, the thing that makes Hedera so great is the, is its security. I always say it, ABFT is great. Um, I also love their scalability, uh, but Casper has its own advantages as well. A lot of these major projects are great to hold in a diverse way because they are not only going after different niche audiences and industries and things like that, but they also have their own upper hand advantage over, the, over one another. Um, and I think that that's what makes this space so great is because you have a different viewpoint on every way that you look at it. And in my opinion, Casper is very diverse in its engineering offerings and its developer offer offerings and just technology offerings as well. We do see over here as well from IPWE. So we've been talking about IPWE for a little bit of time and we do see our business leaders still have limited knowledge of IP despite 84% of the assets in the S&P 500 being intangibles in 2018. Our mission at IPWE is to leverage the power of AI and blockchain tech to provide businesses with transparent and verifiable answers about their intangible assets. And here you guys have the asset uh, makeup. You see tangible and intangible. 84% of S&P 500's assets are intangibles. And this is crazy to actually look at. And by the way, IPWE has been a spokesperson uh, for not only showing us the ideas and the potential around their uh, project offerings from Casper, of course, being built out on Casper. Uh, but also, they've been really a, a star leader in showing us where they are headed and what their mission statement is. 
In fact, we do see down here that companies fail to commercialize 90% of the tech they develop, losing millions each year. Business leaders can now see the full potential of their IP uh, through the smart and tangible uh, asset management platforms, blockchain-backed accuracy and efficiency, which is awesome to see. And again, like they are centered out on the enterprise-grade sector. Uh, they have connections to Fortune 500 plus giants. And I really do think that IPWE is going to be a big star player around Casper. I think that this is going to be a big use case, and I think that everyone should definitely be, uh, be paying attention to it. And uh, also talking a little bit more about that we do see over here, we are taking obviously off-chain financial assets and we put them in the form of smart financial contracts on-chain. So you'll have an immediate balance sheet in near real time. This is, of course, from Casper Network. And I think that this is great. Um, I've seen a few quoted tweets earlier around this. I didn't know if there was any uh, breakdown on this, but I think that this is awesome. And by the way, this is that ideas um, co conference with Coindesk. I think that a lot of the stuff that we are seeing from there is uh, is great insights on where we are really kind of centered on and where we are headed to. Um, we even have the uh, first major quote that I, t I just talked to you guys about labeled here. Um, but there's a great insight on a lot of things happening around crypto at this conference. I think that if you guys did want to read more about this conference, you guys should definitely go do so. Uh, just because there has been a lot of information uh, that has come from this conference. And it's not just Casper. There's many other players there as well. But it's great to really kind of see these conferences kind of bloom into uh, something special. And also over here from Casper Labs, as the NFT market continues to evolve, it's become clear that this is about a lot more than digital art. Businesses are realizing immense value from this emerging technology. And again, I think that their enterprise grade NFT standard that they recently just uh, released, I think that that's going to empower a lot of enterprise grade use case ability out on the NFT market within Casper. And I think that that's going to empower these enterprises a little bit more. This is why I say like, when you look at what Casper is going at, after it's a substantial use case and in fact talking more so about nfts we do see over here while the hype introduced the world to nfts it will be the utility that determines the future of non-fungible tokens so when you combine the nft standard that they recently released and you look at the um, upgradable smart contracts out on casper as well they are literally the perfect storm for enterprise grade adoption um, in the crypto world. I think that this is awesome to see. I think that this should solidify um, everyone's opinion on w where Casper is headed. I always said Casper is a top 10 token. In my opinion, it is a top 10 token. I think that we are on the path to the top 10 as we speak. And I think that's only a matter of time before the value proposition behind Casper and Casper as a token is truly realized. So with that being said, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you guys did, definitely leave a like, subscribe to notifications on. If you guys have more free content, you guys are more than welcome to follow me on Twitter and join the free Discord down in the description below. As always, up to you all. Have a beautiful day, beautiful night. Wherever you guys are in this beautiful world, this has been Nick. Peace out, guys.